you know, James got some key buckets down the stretch. Um, I, I take my hat off to the Pistons. They they were physical, played good defense, very well coached. Um, <clears throat> you know, made it hard on us. We didn't make shots, which uh, is uncharacteristic. But uh, <clears throat> you know, it, it, in key moments, you know, we we were able to get baskets and, and more importantly, get stops. So uh, James made a couple key plays but uh but everyone did i think at both ends everyone stepped up and made a play here or there there were winning plays and uh sometimes you have to find a way to win even when you don't have your best stuff tough day for three pointers outside of landry and joe just how much do you attribute that to their defense four shots just simply not going in or just something else a bit of both like i said i want to give them some credit um you know we forced some tough threes but uh, we also missed a lot of open ones so um, we could have had more separation if we had a, had a more typical shooting night, but uh, you also give them credit. I, I, I think uh, Coach Casey does a heck of a job. They play hard. They play physically, and, um, you know, we didn't have a great game, but you got to give them some credit. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve. Obviously, you guys have shown that you can play pretty basketball, but when a, an opponent is physical, kind of mucks the game up, makes it a defensive slugfest, is this the sort of game that you guys have shown improvement in being able to pull out over the course of the year? Yeah, I think it's it's a it's a positive sign. You know, they you know they they made it difficult for us. We we weren't making shots. We fumbled a lot of plays that we normally convert. Um, you know, but we hung in there, showed competitiveness defensively, didn't make a ton of mistakes defensively, and, uh, you know, weather, weathered it and found ways to win. But, you know, that, that's only positive when you when you win without your typical game. You, you don't, you don't, uh, you want to give them a lot of credit for that, but at the same time, we found a way to win, so I feel positive about the win, less so about necessarily how we got there. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Coach, you know, we've talked about we've talked a lot about how that Detroit game served as kind of like a turning point for the season. I'm just curious, did you guys have this game somewhat circled on maybe not a real calendar, but was this game in the back of the guys' minds collectively? And was it really important for you guys to come out here and get this win, especially because of how things went in Detroit? Uh, you know, I don't want to make too much of that. I, I don't think the guys had it circled. Um, you know, and, and in a sense, you know, you could, the the poetry would have been to lose to them again because we've been talking about the Detroit game for three or four weeks. So, uh, you know, they they are extremely competitive and physical, and we weathered it, uh, found a way to win. But uh, not not a great performance, clearly. But uh, you know, like like we've we've all said already, is is you got to find different ways to win. And I think tonight we found uh, that we can win a game that's a little bit sloppy by our standards. Um, and, our, and it just shows our guys will stick together, we'll compete together, and we'll find different ways to win. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Yeah, Steve, you know, with the way the game developed, how significant was, you know, Landry's uh, third quarter uh, scoring 11 points for you there? The birthday boy was great. He, uh, you know, he's he's on a hot streak here, and it's, it's awesome to see. He made some really big shots for us, uh, you know, we wouldn't have won um, the Boston game without him, and we, you know, we, we wouldn't have won tonight without him. So uh, pivotal performances from Landry, and um, you know, we, we definitely needed those big baskets he made tonight.